Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Hypovolemia. And in today's episode, I have a few things planned. First thing I want to do is make this Axio Furnace, which I think will be very beneficial for us. Apparently, it smelts things faster than a regular furnace, and we can put our lava crystal in there and smelt stuff, which is certainly a useful thing. Um, I think... I'm gonna smelt up a stack of wood and get charcoal, just... Oh, wait, that's stone. There we go. Oh yeah, that's definitely faster. That's way faster than a normal furnace. Okay, nice. That's not bad. Uh, I don't think I want to stack up, smelt up the entire stack though, just half of it. Um, but yeah, that's definitely a good thing. Okay. And the, oh, oh, it wants us to make all the furnaces, apparently. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. So, hmm. I don't know that we can make all of the all the furnaces right <laughs> right at the moment. Um, on a positive note, if we get a couple of different, if we get the dye seeds, we already have one. To we don't have nature, but we would get, we would complete these two quests right off the bat. Um, although they don't really give us any particularly useful quest rewards. Uh, what are these? Redstone, glowstone, and obsidian seeds. Okay, that could be useful. Um, I also would like to get into... I don't know what it takes to get into Botania in this pack. Um, a weak blood shard, a magician's blood orb. So that's a tier three orb. Uh, which I cannot get into because I don't have a tier 3 altar yet. We still have our little issue with rubber, um, which I should probably take a look at one more time. I know I've looked at it a, a, once or twice. If I remember correctly, it was water. Yeah, water and a tier 2 blood altar and 50,000 life points. That's a lot. Um, but I think maybe what I should do is upgrade the altar to tier 3. Before I do that, then I can use my golden apples that I have, um, and I have a few of them. I could use those to make, uh, to get the tier 3 blood orb, and then from there, I think I will ha uh, once I have the tier 3 blood orb, I can make better runes for my blood altar, and basically knock out the rubber seeds. I think that's probably the way to go. So, I've been working between episodes a little bit. I got some reinforced slates so we can upgrade our altar a little bit. Um, I'd like to get some self-sacrifice um, runes in there. So if we take a look at those, the rune of self-sacrifice is glowstone, smooth stone, and then uh, some of those slates. So it's really not too bad. Um, I think I have everything. Oh, except for my blood orb. My blood orb is actually in the alchemical chemistry set because I was making something. Axio essence. I was making axio essence to make this furnace. That's right. I remember. Um, anyway. So let's just put you away. Let's go ahead and make a couple of these reinforced guys here. We do that. And that, and that will make four for us. And what these do is these increase the amount of life essence you get into your altar by, uh, by hurting yourself, essentially. So it increases the effectiveness of your altar a little bit, um, just to kind of demonstrate. Well, I don't really have anything to demonstrate with at the moment. Let's go refill this guy as well before we dive in and try to make anything too crazy. We'll do that. There we go. And actually, we're basically going to have to fill this whole thing up anyway. Aren't we? Or, or move it. We could move it. Because we're going to need to make a bunch of runes so we can upgrade to the tier 4 altar. So, I need, I need, uh, 20, 20 runes, I believe, to do that. 
Uh, and I've got four on me, so I still need 16. That's a lot of runes. Uh, so I guess we'll get those going. And I'll just dump them right there. There we go. And that'll start um, doing its thing. Ten, ten runes. That'll give me ten of these blank slates. And it will give me the ability to make a bunch more of these regular blood runes. Uh, which aren't perfect, but you know what? They'll allow us to get into better stuff. And that's the big goal here. Because ultimately, I think what I want to do is I kind of want to follow the advice of the HQM book. Um, here, where it says I should make runes of dislocation because they will increase the rate at which stuff can flow into the blood altar, specifically life, and if we can, I mean, we get enough of these portable tanks, we could just load up like five of them, that's 50,000, you know, that's, that's quite a lot of LP. Uh, so I think that's probably going to be our best bet for some of these really big crafting, uh, things that we need to do. Now, it is going to take a while to make all of these, so let me get on that. Oh, and actually, one other thing as well. Between episodes, I got 10, 10, 10 coal seeds. Thank goodness. So we now have a reliable source of coal, which is definitely a good thing, because we didn't have one before, other than charcoal. And that's kind of a pain. That's a lot of steps. Very tedious. Not a whole lot of fun. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us a whole lot of charcoal, but uh, eventually we'll just make a big field and and harvest it that way, which will work fine. So, anyway, I'm going to do some crafting here. I'm going to get some of this, uh, some of these blood runes made, and I will come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I'm no, I'm back. Note to self, be careful when using the blood stuff. I definitely killed myself on accident. It was not one of my more brilliant moments. Good job, self. Terrible. Absolutely terrible. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, anyway, so I'm still working on this, but I just thought I'd share my idiocy with you. It was not one of my better... Yeah, not good. Anyway, so I'm going to get back to it, guys. I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back, and I realized one other thing I should probably do while I'm here is make a... Uh, is make some molds so that I can... Uh, smelt blocks and ingots in the furnace. I think that would be very wise of me. Uh, so let's just grab an ingot out of here. Just one. And we'll make an ingot mold and a block mold. And those should allow us to take all of this iron that we have sitting in portable tanks right here, basically taking up space and convert it into something useful, i.e. actual iron. Uh, so, that's another thing that I want to work on while I'm waiting on this process. I figured that was probably a good idea. Uh, so, let's see, we have this flowing into here. Can I just put this on top? And then we put a block there. And do one of those? Will that work? Seems like it. Uh, I think we will have to power this stuff again, though, which is fine. There we go. We'll just turn that on. And that should start spitting out iron blocks here pretty quick. And then we can stack those guys on top. This is a tank of life essence. Yeah, there we go. So those will drain into here. And then anything that's left, I'll use the ingot cast uh, to get the rest of it. And that should be good. That should actually really help us uh, because it'll open up a couple more portable tanks for us to use over here. So, yeah, definitely a good thing. But anyway, I'm going to get back to it. I just wanted to show you that. I'll come back to you in just a little bit. All right, guys, I am back and I've got the 20 runes I need. I think I've got all the materials I need. Pretty sure. Yep, I do. I think I'm going to use wood. Let's grab wood, and then I've got my four glowstone. And we're basically just going to pick up the altar and move it. 
because uh, this is not exactly an ideal location for it, since it's about to get way bigger. So I think I'm just going to move it to a new area uh, altogether. I'm thinking maybe over here we'll put it, like, kind of up on this hill, perhaps? That could be a good spot for it. Um, and eventually I'll want to build probably like a structure around it and some stuff like that. Uh, cause I think that would be cool. So let's go ahead and just kind of clear this little bit right here away. There we go. And then we'll have to assemble the altar and see if we can get our hands on that, uh, um, Oh, I forget what it's called. The the tier three blood orb. Yes, that thing. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks about right. Ish. Uh maybe we go here instead. Let's put that right there. There we go. The one, two, three, four, five, six. Right. Seven. So we need a seven by seven area, essentially. And then what we'll do is we'll put our regular blood orbs, or our blood orbs, our regular blood runes up here. Put that guy right there. That there. And I'll just put the Diviner right here, closest to me. And then what we need to do is build up some pillars like this. Uh, these bottom blocks actually don't matter, by the way. Like, they're completely pointless. They don't serve a purpose. And then we cap those with Glowstone. Like so. And then finally... We take all of our runes, and we have a lot of them. We take the rest of our runes, and plop them down. Like so. There we go. And this should now be a tier 3 altar. Which is awesome. That's great. Uh, it still only holds 10,000. Whoa. Hey. Bread. No. Don't. Why? Why? No. Just no. Uh-uh. That's not what's supposed to happen. Uh, and the glowstone should keep this safe. Uh, we had to, I had to get rid of a couple torches as I was building this, but I think it should be fine now with the glowstone. So, let's take a nap real quick, and then we're gonna try and make this upgraded blood orb. I believe I need a block of gold. So let's take a look and find out. Um, for the next level of blood orb which is the Magician's Blood Orb. Yeah, block of gold and 25,000 life points. That's a lot of life points. Uh, luckily, I do have a decent amount of gold. So we'll do that. And we'll definitely want our golden apples. And I think the rest is basically just going to be spamming... <laughs> spamming the dagger, uh, and hoping that we can pull this off in time. Uh, we should probably fill up the altar. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, that's gonna flow everywhere and knock out all the torches. Uh, well, okay, it could have been worse. It avoided a significant portion of the torches, which is very surprising. That did not, that was not something I had intended to do. Um, I should have thought of that, actually, before I built the blood altar up on this hill. I suppose I could put, like, a thing around it. We could just do, like, a, like, a little thing. Just in case I spill. You know, something like this. It shouldn't affect the altar at all. Uh, and then it will prevent things from spreading too much. It might spread out here a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, so, out of bucket mode, and that goes for the rest of you as well, 
and then we'll plop that guy down and start filling up the blood altar. Now, uh, we will have to put some stuff in here ourselves as well. It is going to take a while to fill up. So, let's let that happen, and I'll come back to you in just a little bit. Alright guys, I am back, and I think I am as ready as I'm going to be. We've got a whole bunch of life essence in the tank, blood ulcer is full, my health is full, golden apple, more golden apples. I think we are good. So, let's put that in there, and let this... Oh, actually, you're going to have to go straight in there, and then we're going to start spamming this... And just kind of keep an eye on it, I guess. Um, let's eat a regular golden apple first. I don't know how quickly... Yeah, that's actually going to be a terrible plan. Okay, we need to eat one of the notch apples so we can spam this as quickly as possible. Hopefully it will last long enough that we can get our super awesome I need to be I need to keep an eye on it too as well. Hopefully we'll be able to get our orb before we run out of golden apples. Okay, so that's now draining very quickly. But we got our orb. We're good. Okay, fantastic. We have our Magician's Blood Orb, and that opens up a new, or that finishes a new quest for us, which gives us five blocks of redstone. Five blocks of redstone is kind of a meh reward because it's something we could have gotten relatively easily, but the Magician's Blood Orb is something we really, really needed because now... All right, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. I hit the wrong button and accidentally went to my desktop. <laughs> my bad. Uh, that's okay. We're fine. So we have the Magician's Blood Orb, which means now we can get into some pretty cool runes. We've got uh, the Runes of Augmented Capacity, which will increase the amount of life essence that can be in the Blood or uh, in the blood Altar. And then we also have the Rune of Dislocation, which will increase the speed at which external sources, like these portable tanks, can uh, essentially input life essence into the Blood Altar. So, very, very useful things. But I think those are going to have to wait for another episode, guys, because I am out of time for this one. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.